everyone welcome to coffee table talks mm, that's good i'm pastor john bell and today i'd like to talk to you about what's so great about the bible in psalm 119 162 it says i rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure and that's what i found personally in my life the word of God is that in which I've been able to say without a doubt, following God's word over the years, it has been the most incredible, amazing thing that I could have done. The best decision after receiving Jesus as my Lord and Savior that I could have ever imagined. So I want to bring to you some points about what makes God's word, the Bible, so great. What makes it a treasure? Point number one. It's actually God's word. God is actually speaking to us. The Bible says that his word is God breathed. So what we have in our Bible, think about it. It's actually the God of the universe, the all-powerful, almighty God, actually giving us his word, his thoughts, his ideas. So that in and of itself tells us that God's word being God's word, that it's something that we can go to and look to to find point number two, answers. The next great thing about the word of God is it gives us answers. In the word of God, we uh, learn how we got here. We learn how everything's going to end. We learn about heaven. We learn about hell. We learn about good and evil. We learn about Satan and how he became Satan. We learn about where life starts. We learn about marriage. We learn about truth. We learn about um, the world and man and salvation. And um, it basically gives us all the answers. Um, point number three then is what's so great about the Bible? Point number three is truth. The Bible is the source of truth. What is truth? Truth is what is. That's what truth is. Truth is what really is. So the Bible is the gold standard, the source of truth. That means that we can actually know the truth. The Bible says the truth will set you free. We can actually know what the truth is. And so we can gauge and measure everything by the word of God in regard to if something is true or not true. And so the Bible, not only is it the word of God, not only does it give us all the answers, not only is it truth, but then the Bible is also alive. In Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, it says the word of God is living and active. What does that mean? That means that the author of the Bible, God himself, He's alive, and that means that the Holy Spirit in whom breathed the Bible to us or breathed it out, the Holy Spirit then is inside the believer. Holy Spirit breathed out these words, and the Bible tells us that Jesus is the Word, and Jesus is inside of us as well. So think about this. The, the Word of God is alive. It's not like any other book. Completely, you can't even compare it. So the, the Bible tells us it's alive. That means that the author of the book is actually living inside of the believer. So that means that when we read God's word and study God's word and meditate on God's word, that means that it becomes alive. It's speaking to us personally. It's not um, just some information that we can glean, but it's actually God speaking to us through his word and it's alive. And when we begin to read it. We come alive. His word comes alive. He speaks truth to us. He speaks to our situation and our circumstances. He speaks all these things. And so that leads me to my last point for this uh, section is that it's food for our soul. The word of God is food for our soul. It actually is like Deuteronomy chapter 8 and Matthew chapter 4, where it says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. What that means is, is that God's word feeds, like regular food feeds our bodies. It feeds our soul. God's word is how our soul is 
built up, how it grows, how it develops, how it matures. And so those are a few reasons. I'm going to talk about some more. Those are a few reasons why the Word of God is so great. And so as you think about this, think about is the Word of God in your life, is it the authority? Not one of many, is it the authority? And then two, is it sufficient for you to understand God's word correctly. You will understand that it is the authority in your life, how you should live, how you should make decisions. And then you'll understand it's sufficient for all the things that you need. So get into the word of God, meditate on it, study it, read it, make it the foundation for your walk in Christ. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.